Hello everyone. My name is Aurora. For people that are new to who I am and what I represent, this is the Flying Rainbow Lasagna. You can also see the smaller wearable version of it here. And this is what I have to share with humanity. I am a galactic walk-in. That means that I am a non-terrestrial presence that is an abstraction. I usually look a lot more like a painting like this, like a poly, polygon structure of color and shape and form that emits sound. But I am presently in this human form in order to share a very crucial message with humanity. And this is a message that really um, relates and applies to what each one of us is experiencing right now. It's why I'm recording this video. I'm doing this rather um, it, informally, rather doing it extemporaneously, um, because the information is so important. I'm just putting it out there for everyone. And I will also do a live Facebook. So also, I am limited presently in my um, ability to record and upload videos because of the limitations of my computer equipment and I really need to get a functioning MacBook that I can use in order to do these with. So I'm doing this no editing and very you know informal presentation. However, I am asking for help so that I can continue to share this information with the rest of humanity. So part of it is I have a whole recorded five month long course that you can immerse yourself in, you can definitely help to get the message out there by enrolling, taking the course yourself and telling other people about the course. But I want you to understand, this is not a sales pitch because this is so important. I'm not here to say like you only get to have it if you have money. So check out my online course because the relevant, most relevant information is enabled for free preview. This is the whole point that sets me apart from many others. I am not here saying that the Flying Rainbow Lasagna is my proprietary thing that I own, that I refuse to share with others. No, 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 oh, 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 it's the opposite. I am here saying this is open source code for your DNA and I implore you to apply it to your own structure. So here's the challenge, that this is a complex concept to learn about and embody. And it's not something where it's just like, poof, I do a five minute video and everybody understands, although I wish that would happen. You can check out my, my YouTube channel where I have many, 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 many videos that are explain all about this or take my online class that is all about this. But the whole point is I'm going to try to do a fast, um, synopsis of the basic points here so that you can understand it and apply it to your own existence all right so this is the work that I've been here I'm a galactic walk-in I came into this human body on October 8th of 2001 and that was part of um, the previous occupant of this body was being satanically ritually sacrificed. So I have shared my story before in the past. I have said that it was a psychic attack, that it was from malevolent non-human entities, and I've spoken extensively about what that journey was like. And the information that is presently coming to light in terms of the high level human trafficking and pedophilia and when I make this gesture here, I am not part of the Illuminati. I am gesturing for emphasis. So allow me to gesture for emphasis, please. Um, high levels of our own government and world government and banking and media and religion um, take part in a structured system of rape and raping children and let us call it the misapplication of sexual energy. And now this is a dark topic that a lot of people are like, I don't want to listen to the rest of this. This makes me feel uncomfortable. I have to turn this off. And I'm actually recording this video also at, um, with some motivation from a person who's been in my classes and uh, has read what I've been writing recently about the revelations about the pedophilia. And she says, people need um, love and some applicable behavior that they can apply to what is going on. So I'm going to give you that with the flying rainbow lasagna. I'm going to give you real nourishment. It is named lasagna because the edge is curly, like the curly edge of a lasagna noodle. And I later learned that the word lasagna actually means layered pie, which is very appropriate because each one of these colors represents a layer of reality. And red is the physical layer of reality. Want me to go through it real, real fast? 
Red is physical, orange is emotional. This is the mammalian level of emotions. Things like attraction or revulsion, um, all of the uh, uh, um, sense of ownership. This is romantic love. This is not cosmic or universal love. And these also represent basic levels of development in the human biological form. The reptilian brain, this is the brain stem. This is the basic primary thing that keeps you alive. Uh, stay alive and can it be eaten and can it be procreated with. On top of there is the mammalian cortex. In your brain there's another structure that grows on top of the reptilian brain that is the mammalian cortex and that mitigates the reptilian desires to simply eat or have sex with everything and it says you get more by working together. And then on top of there is the thin layer, the convoluted layer of our brain that houses what is called humanness. The human operating system, the human mind, this is the yellow level, this is the level of your solar plexus, and it is a hacked operating system. I speak about this all the time on my radio show. Hey, I'll leave links to all of these things. The point is, I've been here for 15 years and I've been giving you lasagna, food, resources, in order to transform your genetic configuration, and I'm now getting into why you have to transform your genetic configuration. So you can also check out, I have a whole webinar in recorded lessons that explain extensively the origins of technology in the cosmos. Why does technology exist? Technology is not a naturally occurring structure, okay? And why does it have to exist as a compensatory form? Because the truth is that there is an abstract overarching entity, we could call it God or the source, and it's really this pattern. It is an abstract pattern. It is not a man with a beard or even a beautiful loving woman. God is a pattern of energy that flows through the cosmos. And this pattern that I paint is a representation of it, you know, that we can perceive with our eyes and with our senses, or I make sculptural forms of it that you can perceive. And it can also be perceived as auditory sculpture or music or sound waves that fit together perfectly. This is a divine pattern of consciousness and energy as it flows in the cosmos. And before I get into flying rainbow lasagna, this is the pattern that that energy ordinarily flows throughout your body and I also didn't finish I got up to yellow which is the uh, level that humanity has presently uh, defined itself by but there is this whole level of the upper faculties that is unconditional love is the level of green and that is formerly considered to be the place that only yogis and masters and very special people who meditate their whole entire lives and sit on a mountaintop get to live at that level. No, 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 that is actually your birthright. That is actually the nourishment of the cosmos. And when people ask me, Aurora, where do you come from? What are your extraterrestrial people like? I say, I define us, me, by our value system and our food. And we eat unconditional love. Unconditional love is like the gas that makes our big spaceship go, and our big spaceship is not a clank clank metal vehicle. It is made of living beings, just the same way that this body is made of living cells, and all the cells have to work together. My heart cells have to work together with my skin cells and my eyeball cells so that everything works together. That is what our extraterrestrial vehicle of consciousness is like. And you don't get on board like getting into a car or onto a ship or something like that. It is a consensual partnership that is more like making love, okay? So now you have to understand how important it is for you to become the author of your genetic code, the author of your own genes. Because about 10 or 20,000 years ago, humanity's genes got squashed. They got degraded. You got invaded. The bad news is the invasion happened already and it's why you don't have access to what is above the higher faculties and that's what the flying rainbow lasagna gives you access to again this level of unconditional love is meant to be like the balance point um, like a foundation on the pyramid of the chakras or energy centers of your body and that on top of there is this level of turquoise, that is the throat, that's communication. It's communication and truth and anything that comes out from your arms. Gesturing, painting, playing on the piano, this is communication. And up from there is, this is very important, this is your brow chakra. It is also known as your Christ chakra. Christ is a universal cosmic consciousness, not just a religion on earth. 
please throw out anything that you presume to know about Christ consciousness as it relates to how Christianity on earth has defined that term. Again, please do not consider me to be like an agent of evil that is leading you into temptation away from Christ. I'm actually trying to give you the consciousness that you can connect directly to your own innate divinity and no longer be um, limited or imposed upon or impeded by those beings that interpose themselves between you and true divinity. That we were meant before the genetic squashing to be uh, true containers for divine consciousness with no intermediaries. And that's who we were before the invasion. And the invaders took over your genes, the genes of the human body, and they programmed in the tendency to worship the beings that engineered you. These are lower level gods, not upper level gods. And I'm here to tell you that all earth religion, all earth-based human religion is a con, like a con game, a confidence game that was programmed into your genes a long, long, long time ago so that you worship the wrong thing. You've been worshiping a lower level, lower case G God instead of the true God. The true God is this pattern, okay? Now let's just go into the very, very final thing, you have this is your insight. This is the level of Christ. Each one of us has an eye or an aperture to perceive time here, all right? I can't talk right now, sweetie, I'm busy. I can't talk right now. I can't talk right now. Honey, I really love you and would love to play another time, but I can't talk right now, okay? I, I just wanted. Bye bye. Oh, thank you for asking, but I can't right now. I'm recording a video, okay? Bye-bye, another time. Oh, I apologize so much, and I cannot press uh, pause and edit my video properly. These are the neighbor's kids, and they wanted to come in and get some lasagna energy. So after I'm done here, I'm going to help them out. Please excuse that minor interruption. We're going to understand that this is not the final portion of the journey, that there's one more level on the staircase that you have to make it to in order to connect to the divine. And that 2,000 years ago, there was an embodiment of this person that was on earth, and that is not the finality of the journey. That when that container for consciousness came here and became a container for Christ consciousness and activated their Christ chakra here, that's not the end of the journey. And that is actually the most vulnerable level of development when we are raising our kundalini or the energy that flows up your spine from the base of your spine all the way up to here and reconnects you to the divine. When you have raised your energy to this level but you haven't yet got to this level, that is the most vulnerable point because you are seeing on the level of anthropomorphic understanding. That means you are seeing through your human shaped filter. You are not yet perceiving in the empirical world of pure abstract energy, which looks more like all of this. And when you get into this, you are beyond the level of interpretation. When you begin to interpret on the human level, there's room for all sorts of distortion. And when people, humans, you and I, raise our energy to this level, but we haven't yet connected up here, people have the tendency to read the first paragraphs of the you know, book of the cosmos and interpret it in all the wrong way. And the first paragraphs say, I am God, yes. And then you have to also read the rest of the paragraphs which speak about how all other living things and all other living consciousness are also part of divinity. So that is the whole point, that we are not at the end of the journey. There was a great teacher that came here 2,000 years ago and embodied Christ consciousness and activated this in their own system. However, that was not the end of the journey. And right now we are at that point where when people speak about the return of Christ, it really means that all of a sudden everybody gets to rearrange what was blocked in their genetic code by using the flying rainbow lasagna. Just got to rearrange here a little bit. Please understand, this is something that I invented as part of my particular contribution to the cosmos, humanity and everyone, as a way to set ourselves free, as a way to be free. Because uh, I'm trying to put a lot of information into a short video here. I know I've got about 15 minutes is what I've been doing so far. 
This is what you have been shaped like. And when you add an additional dimension and you add an additional degree of freedom, this is what you get to be shaped like. This is the end result of a movement or an oscillation of this central point. This central point is called the singularity. It is not the transhumanist singularity. The central point is the convergence of all timelines. And I have to tell you about the timeline so that you really understand this. When you take this point of convergence and you um, vibrate it, in a higher dimensional context. It's down here and it's up here and it's down here and it's up here and the end result means we resolve duality. The outside becomes the inside and the inside becomes the outside. This is how we resolve the duality between good and evil. This struggle that has been ongoing since the genetic squashing. I need to draw a picture for you. That's why I have to record this as a video. I do talk about this all the time on my radio show. That's like trying to fight with one hand tied behind my back. I have to draw this for you and I don't have the expensive whiteboard software to do. If you want me to do whiteboards for you, please contribute, okay? So the time vortex. This is the time vortex, and it looks just like a bottom quadrant of this shape. Do you see that, how I'm superimposing that right there? Good, this is a simplification. And when I draw, this is zero. That is like your birth, and time moves upward like this, and let's say this is 100 years. There are all these timelines that start off down here, and they go upward and they hit here. This is a flowing membrane, it is the flowing membrane of death. Before the genetic squashing, nobody hit the flowing membrane of death. Everybody circulated perfectly. You came from the source of consciousness, circulated out here into reality, and then went directly back home, right up this central spindle that goes directly back home. When the genetic squashing happened, everybody lost their eyesight. No, everyone's flying blind through time. You no longer can see where you're going, so what you have to do is explore every single possible iteration. Begin here, come here, die. Go back to the beginning, begin here, come here, die. Start back here, die, 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 die. And this entire membrane gets filled up. This entire membrane here is full. Oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't see me drawing. All of these little circles, think of them all as last moments, last moments of your death, because your last moment is like the snapshot of your life and it contains everything that has led up to that moment. And this entire flowing membrane is made of last moments of your death. This is the membrane or that I call the interstices. This is, you could call it the fourth dimension or a astral world that is in between this world and the next world. This world is populated by entities. These entities have been controlling humanity since the genetic squashing. It is meant to be a prison, but from their prison, they are affecting everyone else. This is called the distortion of the time field, and this is called dark magic. I apologize for any time that I've referred to it as black magic and in any way have um, you know, negatively uh, um, cast dispersions upon people that have black skin. It's not about how you appear, it is about the intent. We could even call it ego-based magic because when energy flows in this pattern, in this beautiful pattern, this is divine, this is God, this is energy being pure divinity. And when this energy is distorted in its flow, that is ego or a thing that interposes itself between you and God. But ego can also be a perfect conduit, you know, that, that flows, that leads you to God. So I don't mean that you have to kill your ego. I don't want to be misinterpreted there. But I'm trying to get you the understanding between true abstraction, true God, and what is also known in this time and place as the demiurge, a lower level ego interpretation, a narrative structure of who God is. Who would God be if God was a person? Would it be a man with a beard? Would God smite, smite away all the smitiness? That is ego, that is not abstraction. So now we are understanding that human religion, not just Judeo-Christianity, Hinduism, all, all of these religions, they are really descriptions of what is going on in a higher dimensional realm that is affecting this realm, but it is not the description of true abstraction. So what you need to understand now is this central timeline that starts down here at birth, and it actually, i sorry I drew that so crookedly, goes directly all the way up and continues to infinity. Oh my goodness, this is the worst sketch I've ever made. Please understand that this is the ascension timeline. This is the timeline that we're all supposed to be on. 
All of this is the aberration, the thing that is not supposed to exist. Yet humans have been forced for about 10 or 20,000 years to explore all of those peripheral timelines before they get to the central timeline. Just like a choose your own adventure novel where you have to go through every single page in order to see if you can possibly, you know, what is the right combination to get out of this. You have to understand you are trapped. That is the whole point, that this is not God's intention. The abstract God did not intend for you to be trapped here. And now you also have to understand what dark magic is. So dark magic is a hijacking of the sexuality, which is life force energy, which is like the gas that makes you move through time. You're in a car, your physical body is your car, and that life force energy is what makes you move through time. And when humanity is diminished um, through um, sexual abuse, this is the you know best way I can describe it, that um, that takes a person's trajectory. If they were going to be moving up this timeline in this way where my pencil point is going, and it instead turns them and makes them go towards the membrane of death. And the, if you calculate the difference, like the degree difference between where my pencil is now and where my pencil is now, that amount of energy is actually siphoned off of the time grid. Imagine that this painting is a series of timelines. That's what it is. And imagine it's like a perfect embroidery. And all of that energy is flowing through the cosmos perfectly. Now imagine that some malevolent self-serving being says, I'm going to cut this thread and I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to mess up the entire embroidery in order to serve myself. That is what has been going on for the past 10 or 20,000 years. This is the definition of what dark magic is. It is the person expressing their ego um, in conflict with divinity, in conflict with the pattern of energy as it is supposed to flow. All right, I consider myself an artist. And as an artist, I integrate myself and my creations into that pattern of perfection. That is the difference between music and noise. We define as humans music as being harmonic sound waves that all fit together in a pattern of perfection. And just noise is just random sound waves that are all smashed together. So there is an ongoing cosmic symphony. And you are a good musician if you play along with the symphony. And if you don't play along with the symphony, that dark magic, that makes a lot of sour notes and it has been compromising the entire structure of the symphony. This is how you heal the dark magic. So the dark magic that I'm talking about that is being revealed right now is through WikiLeaks, there are um, a lot of emails that show um, high level human trafficking. Uh, what I mean is the um, government that is supposed to be protecting you and uh, helping you is actually stealing your children through orphanages and foster homes and selling them for money to be abused by people who worship an ancient god and that ancient god is connected to extraterrestrial technology. Please understand, when I use the word satanic, I am referring to an actual species of extraterrestrials that use technology. These are beings that emanated themselves from the source, not on a bridge of love, not into physical organic containers like I do, but instead into technological containers, something more along the lines of a cyborg or a giant physical computer, if you could imagine what that would be like. And then those beings do not get their energy directly from divinity or directly from God. They feed, you know, like vampires off of those beings who are directly connected to God. And over the past, it was justified because these beings did not have their own direct innate div divine connection. They didn't have the capacity to eat love. However, the flying rainbow lasagna creates the capacity for them to transform. This is the way that you can rewrite your genetic code. We in this generation can each be free. No matter what has gone on in your family ancestry, no matter what you are connected to in terms of your lineage, you can use this flying rainbow lasagna like a pencil with an eraser on your genetic code. Your genes are, oh my goodness, huh, so much more than just the physical description of your eye color or your earlobe shape or your hair color. Your genes are the thing that ties you together from moment to moment. They're the integument that 
manifests reality. And learning to dance like a flying rainbow lasagna means that you can rewrite your reality. You can rewrite your experience of reality. So, okay, I've been here for 15 years. I've been dancing the genes of this body like a flying rainbow lasagna. And because we're submerged in this cosmic symphony, we uh, vibrate sympathetically. What one guitar is playing next to another guitar actually affects the other guitar. And this is built momentum and this is um, consensual. And I've been creating teaching and everything like that so that people can understand this. The whole point is the flying rainbow lasagna energy is here and it has been amplified and we are now using it in order to restructure and heal the time field. So that's the healing. That's the love. And it's been here for 15 years. This is a pencil with an eraser that you can use to erase the things out of your genetic code that aren't supposed to be there and instead put in their place the things that are supposed to be there. It is, of course, a lot more complex than actually doing it. You know, that's like saying if you move your arm like this enough times, then you get to be, you know, a giant muscle man. It's a lot more than just moving your arm like that many, many times. There's a lot of things involved in this. But understand that this possibility exists. This transformative possibility possibility exists and it doesn't only exist for embodied humans it also exists for those beings who occupy the interstices and have been trapped here this is we could call it a hell realm and this doesn't have to be a realm of we could call it fatty deposits of the cosmos anymore all of these blockages can now be healed they can now be um, removed or dissolved and all of those consciousnesses that were stuck can go where they are supposed to go instead of being stuck on the interstices and for thousands of years they've been this they've been like saying this poor me poor me I'm stuck on the interstices it's not my fault it's not my fault I have to feed off of humanity and now you have to understand since October 8th of 2001 there are no more excuses to be made this is how all of those beings can go to where they are supposed to be. This is how we can rectify the time field. So you apply it to your own individual genetic code. How, oh, sorry, Aurora, how do we do this? So uh, it is many, it, uh, how do you do it? You just like personal training or getting healthier in your body. You have to change a lot of things. You have to change the way you think, the way you perceive, how you look at the world, how you look at your body, how you look at food, how you look at time. That's the software. Like you get new software, new ideas, and you get them from you know, talking to me or watching my videos or reading what I write. And then there's also a change on the interior level, on the level of your genetics. Your genes are like vibrating guitar strings and the guitar strings of my genes are emitting music that's affecting you. And this is all allowed because we are all on the same planet. This is the whole point. I told you I'm an extraterrestrial walk-in. I'm not just an abstraction sitting in another realm, I'm gonna wave my magic wand and poof, I'm gonna change everything on Earth. No, I had to actually come here and get into a body and boy, it was really hard. And feeding the body and keeping it healthy and overcoming the neurological damage so that I could speak and share these ideas with others, that has been an incredible uh, challenge. I want you to know that you do not have to be slaves you do not have to be trapped anymore. This is how you get to be free. And all of the, the religions, they are all about harvesting your consciousness. Like when you die, where are you going to go? You're going to go to heaven of one flavor or another. That is not true heaven. True heaven is that unbroken circuit of consciousness that you get to circulate through um, endlessly, but not, not in an endless loop that is not according to your control. It's, you know, an endless journey that is about love and exploration as opposed to an endless journey that is about being consumed by something malevolent that is not divine, all right? So that is why this information is important for you to get out right now. That is why I give it to you as open source code. And open source means take it, give me credit for, the, for, for being the inventor, take it and run with it, apply it to your own projects, and please include me in your future projects because this is the new world that we are creating. It's literally a new dimension. We're all giving birth to a new dimension. The new dimension is called the flying rainbow lasagna. We are going to occupy a place inhabit a place that is now made of matter that is the combination of spirit and matter. No longer will we have that equation with energy on one side and matter on the other side and the two are constantly balancing one another out. We are now going to have a, um, a dimension that is like the equal sign in the middle of that equation where both matter and energy occupy exactly the same space and are not in opposition. These are 
uh, opposites, but this shape resolves the duality. I'm going to do a live broadcast on Facebook about this now. I hope that this energy has really gotten out to you. Thank you very much for being with me on the journey.